Okay, let's go on for the next graph, which is quadratic. I think you have learned this mostly in your school days, so I'll be a bit quick here. Well, where to x squared? As you can see, the graph is a smile graph. You have learned it, x squared. When, whenever I give you any numbers, it will square it. And you can see the negative numbers will always give you a positive number, so it will always be a positive. So the domain, as we have calculated how just now, we call it as a or in numbers, because I can always touch the graph. And the range that from 0 to infinity. And yes, zero is a square square bracket because you can reach zero. Zero squared gives you zero. Okay, it gives you something like that. Okay, so now what about this time where we got ourselves x squared plus three and x squared minus three? Remember, when you plus three or minus three outside of the x squared, you're going to shift up or shift down. Okay, so ready? We'll figure out the answers first. Okay, ready? Boom. So that's the answers. We shift up by 3 just now, is we start at 0 at the origin, now it goes to 3. For this one here, instead of origin, it goes to minus 3. So we shift down. The domain remains the same, or in numbers, or in numbers. But the range for the shift up, so right now it starts at 3 until infinity. For this one here, negative 3 until infinity. Now, what about if I do this way, x plus 3, and then I only square it, or x minus 3, then only I square it. Try to figure out how this graph looks first before I review the answers. Well, as what we have done just now, if it's inside, it's either shift left or shift right. How are we going to know for sure? Well, I highly recommend you calculate first inside equals to zero, and this one, it will give this kind of answers. Okay? So this one here, I guess myself as x equals to minus three. See? Uh, for this one here, I get myself x equals to 3. So you can shift to the right. Okay. So the graph, the domain and range remains the same because you don't really move it. The domain for x squared, it will always be all real numbers. But for the range, since it doesn't go up or down, so it will always remain 0 until infinity. Both, same, both answers are the same for it, both cases. Now, what about this if we put a negative to the graph? Okay, The first one, if you put the negative inside. The second one, if you put the negative outside. Well, for the first case, it doesn't really matter that much because negative squared will always give you a positive. But this one here, the negative outside will always... I mean, remember that x squared will always give you a positive answers. So if I put a negative outside, positive times negative will always be a negative answers. You can check out in details with these kind of numbers, which I'm going to leave you there. All right? But for, so for the graph, just since I said this one, it will always give you a positive answers. The graph will always be the same. For this one, it will be turn out to be a negative size. Okay, you got the idea. For the range for this kind of case, yes, since we only got a negative, so it's, the range will be negative infinity until zero. Well, I can put more tests for you since this is y. So you will always hit the graph if you go from here. But here, you will not hit the graph anymore in the positive case. So that's why the range we got ourselves negative infinity until zero. Okay, so let's put those knowledge to test. How do you think does the graph looks like before I reveal the answers? Well, remember, negative x squared, this graph, it, it will look something in this way. Negative here, it will look down. Okay? So plus three, what does it do? It shift up. This one is shift down. Okay, so time. Try to calculate the dominant range as well. Oopsie. Boom. So that's the answer. Okay. So the first one is shift up. Second one is shift down. So we got it. Domain is all in numbers for both cases. For this one here, it's three until it's three. Sorry, it's the other way around. It's a negative infinity until three. For this one here, negative infinity until negative 3. Okay. So now, what about for this kind of case? Where you see the plus 3 and negative 3 is inside. With inside of the square. So what, the, what do we know about inside? You need to calculate where inside equals to 0. So for both cases, inside equals to 0. You can give you this kind of graph. This one here, inside where you got yourself x equals to negative 3. This one here, where x is equals to 3. So, 
depends on the answers. This one negative, so it shifts to the left. This one is positive, so it shifts to the right. Okay? And since the y axis doesn't move around, just we just move it to the left and right, so the range remains the same. Okay? Now, time for quiz. Okay, so let's try and test your knowledge. Draw the graph and sketch the graph and give me the domain and range. You may pause the video before I continue to show you the answers. Okay, have you paused? Have you figured it out? Okay, so now let's review. Okay, firstly, I'll do this first test where I only calculate the inside and I have figured it out that it shift to the right. Okay, maybe I should write down here. So it shift right plus three. Okay, and then only I start to figure out the negative. Then I know instead of this way, it will flip down. It gives me something like this. Okay. And yeah, you can calculate this one here. So here when here is when x equals to 0. And x equals to 0. So uh, y equals to 9. So here we got ourselves as a negative 9. Okay. Now only we do the final what? Plus 5. What does plus 5 do when it's outside? Then it's a shift up or shift down. So in this case, okay, so for this one here, finally when we shift up, well, now you got yourself as this graph, okay? So we, the graph goes up. So instead of the 3, 0 here, it goes to 3, 5. And instead of here, negative 9 plus 5, so we got ourselves a negative 4. And the domain is remain the same for all quadratic, which is all the numbers. And the range here is negative infinity until 5. Okay, that's all. Okay, hopefully you understand these videos. Please comment, share, like, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave your comment down below and I will respond to you. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching.